Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and welcome to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite fun things to do. Aren't they all? You know, it's like I'm always saying that. But this one really is. And it's something that, let's say you have one of those days when you're not so inspired. What am I going to paint today? What am I going to make? But you got to get in the studio. You got to be doing something creative. And this is a really good thing to do on one of those days. Because what are you doing? You're coating papers with gloss media. It's kind of a no-brainer thing, but there's so many different things you can get from it. So let me just show you, I'm going to start you off with the technique, and then I'm going to share with you all the different things that you can do with these, that you can get with these. So what I have here is just a sheet protector from the office supply store. You can use a piece of plastic make sure or a plastic trash bag just make sure it's a thick enough piece of plastic that you can handle it and sometimes it's easy to have easier to have a piece of uh, cardboard or something underneath if if you're uh, needing to move these just some of those little tips now i'm going to be talking about all these different kinds of papers i'm starting out with a rice paper that has some printing on it this is a, a very old paper and it is kind of an open weave pattern. And this one is a kind of a gold webbing, but you can also do this with other kinds of papers. But let me just show you what I'm gonna do. Now for these thin ones, I'm just gonna spread some of the gloss medium onto the plastic, and then I'm gonna put, put it down and put some over the top. It's like I'm encasing the paper in plastic. And I just want to make sure I got enough under there. I do. And again, I'm going to do that here. Put the polymer gloss down and the paper and put more gloss on top. And one more time. I think I had a little color on my brush, so that might be why it's showing up now here let's make sure i get enough on and sometimes if it's a thicker paper like this i can kind of pick it up and flip it over and that creates sometimes some little air pockets which are kind of fun to have and i'll show you what i mean in my dry ones so let's flip that over that one I'm not going to try because I know it wouldn't flip well. So now you set this aside to dry. And you can do big sheets of this. You can do little pieces. It's completely up to you. And just leave it there to dry. Let me get some of this plastic stuff off my fingers. So what do you get when that dries? This is very interesting. So this is a rice paper, very similar to the ones I just did. Let me just bring this, oops, this piece in here. So you have some color. And it makes it translucent, not quite transparent, but you can see the underlying colors of that painting. You can still see the lines that were in this paper. So that was the pattern like these that was in the paper. Now, if I wanted a different sheen, I would still start with the gloss medium because that's what's going to make the paper more translucent or transparent. Then after I've got that effect, I could come back over it with a matte medium to take that sheen back. And that's going to make it a little more opaque, but you don't want to do that with the paper because you're going to kind of lose the, the point of having it transparent unless you want it more opaque. So let me show you some different papers. And I'll keep that there just in case. Now this piece, it was a very thick paper, so it's not going to go transparent. But it can be a very handy thing to add in as an element of the painting. You see how it kind of sits on the surface. It's not integrated like these are. These are the pieces that were like that middle paper that I just did. So you can see 
One side is raised up with that pattern and the other side is a little smoother. The other thing you can do with these is you can paint the back. I'm not going to do it on that one at the moment. Let me put this over here, peel this one off. So when they're dry and you're ready to take your paper off, this is what you do. You just peel it off of here. And here is another one that, let's put this one on here, and you can see how transparent that is. This was a tissue paper from, I think it was like a gift wrap tissue paper. So you can use all kinds of paper, even papers that are not necessarily archival. It's going to be encased in acrylic medium, so you don't have to worry about it crumbling over time if it's not archival. Fading could be another issue. If that's a concern, you'll always want to use a varnish on the top. But I love how um, these colors can be seen through here. Now here is the kind of open weave one. And it's really easy to apply some paint to this now on either side. So let me just do that quickly and show you what that might look like. And again, I'm wiping a lot of it off, so it's just going to be a little hint of color. And I applied that on the side that was the paper side. Now if I put some on this side, which is mostly the gloss, it's going to pretty much just cover it as if I were painting on top of just a regular surface. However, you see these little kind of bubbles in there? And that's what I was talking about when you take the paper up and flip it, you get these kind of little air bubbles in there. And they can make for some interesting little textures on that back side. Now, when I let that dry, and let's say I add another color to it, it's kind of hard to tell before it's dry. But I'll show you a piece that I've done the layering on. I can just leave it on there to dry again. Here is one where I've actually layered fabric, was an organza fabric, along with this same open weave paper. So you can create your own kind of collages, these skins that you can layer. Let me move this out of the way. Here's a bigger sheet. And this is what I'm talking about, these kind of bubbles. These are the openings where the air was in there and not the gloss medium. So it kept the paper a different color when I painted it. And I actually added some white onto the back side of this. So it makes this side more opaque. So you can control whether you want it transparent, opaque. Here's another piece that I could kind of layer and I can put plant material in. So these are two pieces of very thin papers and you can sandwich some plant materials. Think about it, leaves or whatever you want. You put it on the plastic, you coat it both sides with the gloss medium and you're going to get this beautiful kind of effect. And one other thing with this paper. So here I have this paint is stuck onto the plastic. And I put this tea bag on top and I just put the, the polymer medium on. And now that it's dry, when I peel this off, that paint becomes integrated into that piece. Let me put it on something that shows up. So you see how that kind of orange gold paint pops up on top of that tea bag another way to layer these. And then it cleaned off the paint. Here's another one that is very transparent when it gets the, there we go. It becomes very transparent. You can see 
all the way through it. And I can choose to add paint or not add paint. It goes on and on. But let me just show you this one where I did add paint to the back side. There's a gold and a green that I added, and that was kind of a leaf texture. One of the other things you can do on some of these thin papers is you can draw, you could stencil onto them. But I just took a Sharpie and started to write and scribble onto one of these papers. So you can make any kind of paper you want. Thicker papers become very easy to handle. And in one of my collage classes, I show you a way to bring all of these little pieces together in a very unique way. So I hope you look for one of those classes online. And I'm going to finish this piece using the skins. And I'll show you how that looks when it's done, because I'll add some paint to the back side of some of these. And maybe I'll put this one in or, or not. We'll see. And that is paper skins. So I really want you to try a lot of different papers. Just experiment and explore with thin papers, thick papers, embed things between thin papers, add paint on the front, the back. You got the drill, OK? So if you like the video, please click like and share. And thanks for joining me this week. And I'll see you next week. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.